Judge, we have a pending motion to enter a guilty plea with the Commonwealth's offer attached and signed by all parties. Okay. This is a five count indictment. The Commonwealth would move to dismiss counts three, four, and five. Count three is possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. That was a rifle that was found in an adjoining building during the investigation. Count four is receiving stolen property, and that is uh, the rifle and also a handgun that was involved. And the fifth count is second degree persistent felony offender. So is it your intention to enter a plea of guilty to the charges of murder and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon? Yes. Okay. So it's a life sentence without probation or parole will be our recommendation. Thank you, sir. Mr. Hall, is that the recommendation as you understand? Yes. Did you raise your right hand for me? Okay, do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Okay, tell me who you are, please. Yeah. Mr. Hall, the honor about the 13th day of March, 2018, in Pike County, Kentucky, that you committed the offense of murder when you unlawfully shot Pikeville Police City Patrolman Scotty Hamilton causing his death. Now you had in your possession a firearm as a convicted felon. Did you in fact do those things? Yes. Okay, I'm going to accept the plea of guilty. I believe it's been made willingly and intelligently and, uh, and with understanding by Mr. Hall. We would ask that uh, sentencing proceed immediately today. And what does the defendant say? Judge, we have no objection to that, and we would like to resolve this matter as well. I have here four signed acknowledgement and acceptance of the negotiated plea signed by Chelsea Hamilton, the widow of Scotty Hamilton, also signed by Wayne Hamilton, the father of Scotty Hamilton, also signed by Patricia Hamilton, the mother of Scotty Hamilton, and also signed by Jeff Hamilton, the brother of Scotty Hamilton. Uh, we would ask the court to uh, have these filed, and it does show that they agree with the plea agreement that has been entered into here today. Uh, along that same line, I do think that some of them want to address the court uh, during the sentencing phase. Judge, this is Patricia Hamilton, Scotty Hamilton's mother. Okay. And because of you, my heart is broken. As is our families, friends, our brothers in blue, and the community that he loves so much. Because of you, our lives are forever changed, but yours will change too. Scotty's senior quote for graduation was live life to its fullest, take one day at a time, and that he did. Now I will struggle with how to live without him, hopefully with God's grace. Uh, Chelsea's statement goes as such. February 16th, 2013, June 11th, 2017, and March 13th, 2018, the three biggest days of my life. February 16th was when I said I do to the love of my life and my best friend. June 11th, when I brought my beautiful little girl into this world, and then on March 13th was the day our lives took a turn for the worst when I lost the love of my life my best friend, and the father of my little girl. And so, I'm going to impose a penalty on count one of life imprisonment without parole, and count two for 10 years in the penitentiary, and those will run concurrent by operation of law. Okay, y'all can remain seated, and uh, court be with you. I will probably never have closure. Um, we're going to have to live with this the rest of our life, but um, I'm glad to know that he is not out on the streets and that my, hus my husband did get justice. Um, but I also want to thank the Commonwealth Attorney and the Kentucky State Police and, of course, my family, the PD, Pikeville PD, for supporting me. Um, and today was hard. But I'm glad that it's over, and uh, me and Brindley, my daughter, can go on with our lives the best we can. And that's what Scotty would have wanted. 
We had all went up to the gravesite this morning. We promised he was going to come up on the closure date, and we all went up this morning and visited with him. And uh, now it's finally come to a close.